A rally in downtown Manhattan to demand the NYPD release a report that details controversial gang database that some say is ruining the lives of kids as young as 12 years old. News 12 Samantha Cheney spoke with one Bronx man who says this database landed him in jail while he was just a college student. If you met Craig Lewis back in 2016, you may have used the words student athlete, college graduate, or future attorney to describe him. I got my, my high school diploma, and then I went off to college with a scholarship. I went back to grad school. And just credits away from earning his master's degree at the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut, the word felon was added to that list. About 4 or 5 a.m., they, they kicked in the door, and they served me my warrant. And I'm like... I looked at the Warren Rico guns, I'm like, oh, I'm in school, like, this can't be real. Miles away from his childhood neighborhood in the Eastchester Garden section of the Bronx, the 24-year-old became one of 120 Bronxites indicted in what is known as the largest gang takedown in New York City history. And he says he was wrongfully accused because of his race and zip code. I was there for murders, attempted murders, robbery, scams. Without his knowledge, Lewis says his name was listed on the NYPD's gang database that according to some lawyers could include thousands of others just like him. When you live in certain communities, yes, you might know gang members. You might say hello to them, shake their hands, play basketball with them after school. But the fact of the matter is you're not committing any crimes. So today, along with the Legal Aid Society, elected officials and the Gangs Coalition, Lewis rallied to demand a report of proof. Advocates and lawyers from the Legal Aid Society tell me that since 2017 they've been waiting on that report that would explain the NYPD's gang database. But they say five years later they have yet to receive any information. I reached out to the NYPD to learn more on when they will release this report. They didn't respond with a timeline but said in part the NYPD's criminal group database has strict and transparent rules that removes individuals who are no longer active in gang activity. In downtown Manhattan, Samantha Cheney, News 12.